Hello, everybody. I'm LW, and I'm chomping at the bit. That's right. So let's get started with our 10-set, three-step workout, because we are going to burn up some cardio today, and we're going to work hard to get ourselves in the shape that we should be in. All right, I just set my tracker. I got my clipboard on the floor. I got my clock on the wall so I can check out my second hand. I'll leave that for a moment, so let's get started. Hands on the 12, let's do it. 60 seconds, jog in place. Oh yeah, you can do it. You just have to put your mind to it. You can do it. Never count yourself out. Your mind and your body is a lot stronger than what you give me credit to be. So you need to do something about it. That's right. Let's get ourselves back in the shape that we used to be in. However many years ago it was. You can do it. Put your mind to it. Say I can do it and get busy. Step one. Set one. Jogging in place, 60 seconds. There we go, 60 seconds. Now, the latch bar. That's right, the latch bar was a double strap setup. One strap be it for sit ups, the other strap set is be it for crunches. I will do the workout and demonstrate at the same time. That's right. Put it on the floor because that's where it belongs, along with my mat. And let's get started doing some sit ups. 25 sit ups, 25 crunches. That's right. If you can't do 25, do what you can do. But let's get started because we have a goal to attain. That's right, you have to set a goal and make sure you put your best, your best effort forward to attain your goal. That's what you want to do, put your best foot forward, make sure you attain your goal. And we're working on it together. That's a good thing, 25 crunches, let's go. Let's mark that down. Set number one. Completed. We get one mark for that. That's all. One mark per set. We're doing 10 sets of the last bar cardio workout. 60 seconds, let's get it going. Jogging in place. Let's jog in place like we mean it. That's what it's all about. You may not be able to jog as fast as me, jog at your rate. Or if you can jog faster, jog faster. The harder you work at it, the more benefit you will get. 
And we're looking to get some benefits from doing this because I don't want all my hard work to be for nothing. And that leads me into, we want to make sure that we're properly dieting. Because if you're not properly dieting, you're just throwing your workout in the garbage. Especially if you're looking to lose weight. So if you're looking to lose weight, You have to monitor what you eat as well as working out. Because all of us basically have an eating disorder that we do not admit to. That eating disorder tells us to eat more than what we should be eating. That's right. And that's what put us in a condition that we're in today. 25 Sit-ups, let's go. Let's be honest with ourselves. How many pounds are you overweight? And if you don't know what you should weigh, you can go on the internet, put your height in the scale. It'll tell you how much you should weigh. And you'll know if you're overweight, as you should know. Now there are some variations, obviously. So it's going to give you a range. Because some people have a bigger anatomy or a larger set of bones, let's say which will make it so that you're able to carry more weight, but you still have a range. That's right. Some people are built more muscular than others. That's all genetics. So, you may weigh more than others, or you may be a little bit larger, but you also have a range. And you need to check your range out so that you can make sure you don't exceed your range. And I like the best teller of them all. You know? Look in the mirror. Yep. It tells the truth. If you look proportionately out of shape, chances are you are overweight. 60 seconds, jog in place. We could all do it if we put our mind to it. You can reach and attain your goal. You don't have to pray for it, you can do it. You have to work for these things. Just like you work to make money, you can work for your health and save money. Because the more you are out of shape, 
the more possibility it's going to impact your health. time it doesn't affect you when you're young your body is able to handle a little bit of everything but as you age your body can't handle nearly as much as it could as you were younger so that's why you have to be more conscientious of what you do as you get older I advise you to join in with me. That's what I recommend on a daily basis. Work out. You may not be able to do what I do, but you can do what you can do. That's what's important. Getting started. Getting started so you can feel better. So you won't be putting yourself in danger of possibly a heart attack or a stroke. <coughs> Neither of which you want to put yourself in position to have. However, you could probably do something about it if it isn't too late and you've already had the conditions. But while you still have an opportunity, you should be applying yourself so that these things don't happen to you because, because they can happen to anyone. That's why we have to work for better health more as we age. Because as you were a young whippersnapper, all of this came natural. For most of us. For the younger generation today, you have a lot of challenges. All these different electronic games that capture you and steal you from your potential. Then you have fast food places everywhere. And as I was young, all of this did not exist. Neither. The fast food places with abundance or the electronic gamery. Heck, they didn't even have computers when I was young. So now all of that has changed. And it has dramatically, I mean dramatically, impacted society. Some ways good, a lot of ways bad. Let's do 25 sit-ups. Let's do it.
25. And that was set number four. So we're quickly moving right along. So we need to stay focused on what we're doing at all times, whether it's working out, motivating yourself, disciplining yourself, or eating, or drinking. Because all of this can impact what you feel like impacting your health. Let's do 60 seconds, jogging in place. We're on set number five. Once you reach your goal, you can cut back on how much you do because you won't need as much to stay in shape. But when you first start to get that weight down, to get yourself in the shape you need to be in, you have to work really, really hard. And you have to be consistent. I'm not saying you don't have to be consistent later, but you won't have to work as hard as you work now. That's right. It'll be, it will be preventative maintenance to your body. That's right. You ever hear of that? Preventative maintenance to your body. That's what we do in, an, in the industry with machinery. Our body is a well-oiled machine, which also requires maintenance. That's right. We should all understand that. If we understood that, it would be much easier to exercise. Your car runs out of fuel, you add more gas to it. When you start to get weak and your stomach is growling, you add food to it. When your muscles are starving and need work, exercise, we ignore the cold. They're telling you they need to be worked, otherwise they're not happy. Those are your muscles, and we all have muscles. Your muscles are starving for activity and they never stop. No matter what age you are, you always need to exercise some form of way. Maybe it's not the same, it changes as we age. You don't see me acting as if I'm 19 or 20. We can't do that anymore. We need to do exercise that we can do. That's right, and that's why we have the latch bar. The latch bar is really an adult device where we need to forget about trying to lift weights and lift what we can lift. Resistance bands and straps are better for your health, better for your joints, better for your muscles. 25 crunches. The last one is available on Shopify and also my website, which is www.lw500products.net.
Before I get up, let me mark completion of step number five so that I do not forget. Because remember, we're human beings and human beings forget. All of us. No matter what age you are, we all forget. 60 seconds. Let's jog in place. Be aggressive, be consistent when you jog. That's right. Get those legs up in the air, get those arms moving, get that body to shape. Then you know you're doing something. You want to perspire. Get yourself a sauna jacket. Get yourself a sauna suit. You may need a suit, not just a jacket. You'll get results. These things aren't expensive. Going to the doctor, trying to keep up with your health, taking all that medication is expensive. That's what you don't want to do. Be involved with a whole lot of medication. Because trust me, medication has side effects. You don't want those side effects. You want to minimize your side effect. So you want to make sure that you take the least dosage as possible. You may still need it, but you don't need the super-sized tablet. You just don't. And when you go to those fast food restaurants, don't supersize either. Our fast foods are impacting America in a very negative way. Fast foods contribute to obesity. It has countless preserves, preserves in the foods that impact our growth. Most fast foods are all fried foods, which are most harmful. And then you want to add those preservatives in the food, which is fried, and it just adds to the problem. So, you're better off frying your own food. If you're going to eat fried food, at least if you fry your own, you know that it doesn't have as many preservatives in it. Because you didn't put them there, but some are already there. Because that's the way food preparation is grown and prepared for us. 60 seconds, let's jog in place. We're on set number seven, moving right along.
Don't cheat yourself because you will be the only one in pain. That's right. So let's get the most out of your workout by being as aggressive as you possibly can. Let's be aggressive and let's get the job done. You can do it. If you don't exercise, you're not gonna get the healthy benefits. That's why exercising is so important. Makes it easier for you to do things. gives you strength, gives you stamina, it will also boost your immune system. That's right. Exercising is extremely important to all. 25 crunches. If you can't do 25, do what you can do. just completed set number seven. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Which means we have three more set to do. That's what it boils down to. And that is why I write it down so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. 60 seconds, jogging in place, let's go. Don't count yourself out. Never count yourself out. Coming up on 60 seconds. All right. Down to the format. More crunches, more sit ups. 25 each. You want to attain your goal? You have to work for it. It's that simple. If you don't work for it, it won't happen.
some sit-ups, two crunches. If you want to do your crunches first, be my guest. Doesn't matter what order you do them in, as long as you do them. That's all you have to do. It's 25. That is 25 at a time. Now we're on. We're going to set number nine. That's right. That's where we are. Set number nine. 60 seconds, jogging in place. Put your music on. It'll give you some motivation. Sometimes quiet is no good. But quiet sometimes is good. Because you need to concentrate. You need to focus on what you're doing. You have a goal to attain. You got to do it. Okay, on the floor for some more. Let's do it. 25 sit-ups and 25 crunches. Twenty-five crunches coming right up. There you go. Set number nine. Completed. That means one more set to do. How about that? And since it's early in the day, that means you have the whole day. And you don't have to work out anymore unless you want to. It's okay to work out multiple times a day, if you can, but you don't have to. More is better. Okay, 60 seconds, set number 10, jogging in place. Let's do it.
Let's get that health good. That's right. Let's bring that cholesterol down. Let's bring that blood pressure down. Let's bring that A1C number down. Let's bring that weight down. Working out will get you there as long as you work out aggressively. That's what you have to do. Do it like you mean it. There are no shortcuts. Shortcuts are dangerous. All right. Be patient with your workout. Your goal will not happen overnight. You're going to have to work at it diligently, aggressively, with discipline. You have to be consistent. Devoted, all those good words that drive you to get it done. And that's what you will have to do in order to attain your goal. It's just that simple. Now let's get busy on this last two steps. 25 sit-ups and 25 crunches. Five sit-ups completed. Last step in the last set. 25 crunches. There we go. 10 set completed. Once again, and we're under 40 minutes. We're at 38 minutes. How about that? Done 500 sit ups and have jogged for one mile. That's how you get in shape. That's right. You have to do it if you're looking to improve your health. Don't take my word for it. I'm sure you know you can do it. So let's get busy. If the OG like me can do it, that means you can do it because I know most of you are younger than me. And some of you are older than me. Just take it easy, but I know you can do it too. Thank you all. And have a great day.